Welcome back to another video with FlyFishingWithJeff.com. It's Saturday, June 3rd, and uh, we're here in southern Indiana, and we're heading north. We're going to try a couple of new sections of water here on the Big Walnut, and we've been kind of battling the water game here for the last two or three weeks. Had way too much rain, or a lot of rain anyway, and uh, so we've been having to watch gauges and play with different levels of water and different color of water and all those kinds of things. We think we've got it right today. Uh, we're still under a little bit of a high pressure, so we're going to see how it goes. So come along with us today. Hopefully we'll catch a batch of big, mean, hungry smallmouth. Well, there's a big first fish. Look at that. Holy cow. That's tomorrow's seven pounder. But it's a smallmouth. There we go. All right, well, he's not huge, but that's exactly what we're looking for and how we're fishing it right there. And I'm betting that there are others who would love to have a little bait fish skipjack minnow meal. Gotta be a big one in there too. All right, <clears throat> so there's a little better fish. This one might go 14 or so. Uh, again, we're on we're here on a Saturday. Oh, Saturday, and it's just been overfished like crazy. But when you see deep pools, little pools like this, but they got the, they've got that color change. That's what you gotta do. You gotta lay that fly in there. There, there we go, right there. And there was two big fish in that little green pool right there. So, uh, those of you guys that are fly fishing and uh, you're out <clears throat> streams like this, you gotta understand, you gotta look for a different way to catch fish because on a Saturday especially, there's just gonna be so many people coming down a stream like this and uh, that's a little healthier fish I like to really think about where can I fish let me grab this guy that uh, the kayak and other fishers haven't fished and they're not gonna fish through these shallows they're not gonna pull in and so there's a nice smallmouth and again I'm fishing I went to just a little smaller this is a size 8 kind of white what I call a trout candy where it's a weighted cone head and you can see that fly tails wrapped up on it right now but it really looks good in the water it looks like a looks like a bait fish so think about where think about where those other kayakers and other fishermen aren't able to fish and then try to fish that area and again I'm trying to dangle persuade let's see if there's one more a fish in coming out right out of there a little deeper darker water but that was back to back probably 14 and maybe that one was 15 or even 16 inches So I'm going to pull that. I hope you can see that fly, that white fly. I'm going to pull it in and in front of this deep area. It's got a couple boulders. <clears throat> and I'm swimming that thing like a wounded minnow. 
just asking to be eaten. And often you also have to think about the minnow itself. It's got into this pool and right there's a little small mouth came after it. It's got into this pool and it's trying to get itself out of that pool without getting eating, eaten. All right. So there you go. Yeah, they, a lot of streams, crawfish work. Uh, right now, do you see, they're really chasing the bait fish right there. So, yeah, there's a lot of these. They're just, I've only caught a couple. Oh gosh, they're just, they're just, they're just beautiful. But any day you can be out, one day like today is a good day.